Hey guys, so I've been back in Cambridge for about two weeks now and I finally feel like I'm starting to get back into a routine. So for those of you who are new here, welcome. Um, my name is Lathan and I'm currently a master's student studying epidemiology at Cambridge University. And this year, my goal for YouTube is to continue my search for range. So since I'm getting back into the swing of things academically, I thought I'd make a little video about something that all students have to do and that is to take notes. So before we move on, I wanna ask you guys to think about a couple of questions. So when you're sitting in class, how do you take notes? Do you try to write down everything that the lecturers are saying or just the main ideas? Or do you maybe take the lecture slides and just transcribe everything in the lecture slides into a set of notes? And then afterwards, what do you do with those notes? Do you reread them before an exam? Or do you just completely write a totally new set of notes, like an exam study guide? So let me tell you what I used to do. I used to try to write down everything my lecturers or my professors were saying during class um, into a set of notes, and then I would supplement them from what I was reading um, up on the lecture slides. And once I had my notes after class, the truth was I never looked at them again. When it came time to study for exams, I would always rewrite a completely new set of notes um, as if my first set of notes never existed. And ultimately, I realized that this was ineffective for three main reasons. The first was that I wasn't making the best use of class time. The second was that I was actually spending more time outside of class trying to compensate for the things that I didn't learn during class. And third, I just wasn't effectively learning new information. So in this video, I wanna give you a framework for how you can more effectively take notes during class. And I'm gonna structure the video in the following three steps. So the first is goal setting, where I'm going to talk about how or what questions you need to ask yourself to best decide how you want to take notes. The second step is pre-class, where I talk about the best way to prepare the night before. And the third step is the Cornell note-taking system, which is a system designed to facilitate active recall. So if you haven't seen my previous video about active recall, feel free to check it out. But if not, there are tons of resources out there on Google that talk about it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing to do is to set your goals. And what I really mean by this is when you're taking notes, you have to ask yourself why you're taking notes. And I know that might sound a little bit weird, but let me put it another way. So the general notion is that taking notes is associated with being a good student, right? So when you're sitting in class or when everyone's sitting in class, everyone's writing things down or typing things out. Um, and that behavior is associated with being engaged or being productive. But that's not necessarily true. What I've realized, and what some of you may have also realized, is that taking notes for the sake of taking notes can actually be counterproductive. That's why I think the first important step is to understand why you're taking notes. Are you taking notes um, so that you have something to study from later? Does writing things down in the moment help you better understand the material? When you write notes, are you actively using them to engage with the class, for example, outlining main ideas, synthesizing information, formulating questions. So these are the types of questions that you have to ask yourself. So for me, my goal when I write notes is I'm thinking I want to be able to learn this and remember this for the long term and hopefully be able to retrieve it for an exam. Okay, so now let's talk about how you prepare the night before. So this step is really relaxed. It shouldn't be stressful. If you start building it as a habit, it should only take about five minutes out of your day max. So generally, if your professor uploads lecture slides um, before class, it's useful to skim through the lecture notes um, just to get a sense of what type of content is covered and begin to anticipate some questions that you might have. If your professor doesn't do that, still no worries because what you can do is you can take the time to prepare your notebook or however you take notes um, in the Cornell note-taking system that I'll talk about later. And basically you do that by just dividing the page. And also you, you might still have some idea of what the lecture will cover because generally I think a syllabus or a timetable is usually provided. So 
you'll always get an idea of the order in which content is covered. And by that, um, you should be able to anticipate what types of material um, you're going to learn and what types of content you're going to cover in class. All right, so now we're on the last step, actually taking notes. So in this step, I'm going to talk about the note-taking system that I use, and I've mentioned it uh, earlier in the video. It's called the Cornell note-taking system. And basically, it was a system of note-taking devised by um, a Cornell professor, he was an education professor, um, named Walter Pock, sometime in the 1940s. And basically, this system is a way to organize and condense notes effectively. And it works for high school and university classes. And basically, the approach is that you take a page um, and you divide it into two columns. Um, one twice as big as the other. And in the smaller column, um, you usually write questions in the form of active recall, which to summarize is basically um, a, a way to actively retrieve information from your brain. And in the style of active recall, basically you would write questions um, on one end uh, or on one side. Um, so basically, um, I'm doing a psychiatric epidemiology module currently. So I would write, for example, um, what is a hallucination? And on the right-hand side, you write sort of your main ideas and your concepts that you associate with that question. So for example, uh, with the question, what is a hallucination? I would write a vivid perception of something that's not there. When I'm writing down all the main ideas and concepts, um, the key is to try to keep it as brief as possible. Use abbreviations, use drawings, use symbols, um, because you don't want to um, burden your notes with tons of sentences um, and tons of words. I've realized that um, through using this note-taking system, I've been better able to keep a condensed set of notes that I can actually use again to study for exams. So rather than having to rewrite a completely new set of notes and take that time, um, take that extra time to do that, I already have um, essentially an exam study guide um, in the way that I want in the way that's beneficial for my active recall practice. That's it for, for this video. It's a short video. Um, I hope you guys took something away um, from this video on how to better take notes, um, how to better organize the way you record and learn information. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, um, feel free to leave a comment. Um, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe to continue to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys soon in another video. Peace.